In today's video, we're going to be talking about pens. Yes, pens. As a career development professional, I seem to get through loads of these, whether it's on whiteboards or on flip charts. Um, I just seem to get through loads of these each year. Absolutely masses of them. Now, at CXK, we've started to explore how we can be more responsible with regards to our environment and the waste that we produce. Now, in my own practice, that's really got me thinking because I do get through loads of these, you know. Each year, I'm getting through hundreds, potentially, of pens, and it isn't great. So I've been having to think about how I can make my practice a little bit more sustainable. And I've come up with some solutions. For those of you who've been following me a while, um, you know that I do a lot of career mapping. Now, the career mapping is often done either on flip chart, on pieces of paper, or on scraps of paper. And you'll be aware that we've been developing our own career mapping cards, partly to reduce um, the waste that's out there, but also what I find with my ADHD, my handwriting isn't particularly great. So actually it makes it more client-centered to be able to have some cards that the clients can read. But it got me thinking that even with the cards, there are still things that I'm writing that are unique to each client, sort of whether extra arrows or extra thoughts as they start to build their career plans. So I did a little bit of research and I've come up with several different things. So first of all, I've come up with these, or found these, should I say. If you go onto a popular shopping uh, website, you'll be able to find either playing cards or index cards that are mini whiteboards or you know, white cards, whiteboard cards. I'm not sure the best way to describe them, but basically they're wiped clean. So what you can do is you can get your flip chart marker of choice and you could write whatever it is that you want to on your flip chart, whether that's a smiley face or an arrow. Do the session and then when you're done, you just wipe it off and it's reusable. Surely that's much better for the environment. So what I now have in my little career pack are these little cards. And I've shared this idea with a couple of careers advisors now that I've been talking to. And I know a couple of them are going to get some um, index cards, which are slightly bigger. They're more like postcard size. But I like these because they tie in with the other cards and resources that we use, such as like Catherine Jennick's, uh strength cards, all kind of a similar sort of size. So they kind of scan quite nicely for the young people when they're using them. Um, and it's really starting to make a difference in the amount of waste that I produce. Now, the other part of my ADHD brain is that I get very cluttered very easily. And I can end a day with loads of scraps of paper all over the place normally. Um, but what I found is that actually this has been better for my brain and keeping myself organised as well. Less waste, better for my brain, better for the environment. It seems to be a better win. But I've also decided to start thinking about the actual whiteboard pens that I use, as well as the regular pens I use on our paper manual action plans. And there's several different things that I found. So there's loads of different whiteboard pens out there. If you do a bit of your own research, you will find that actually many of the most popular brands um, have their own rechargeable, either, either rechargeable or with cartridges that you can put in um, to reuse your pens. So I now have two small reusable whiteboard pens that I'm using and one large whiteboard pen. All of them are reusable and I've bought some cartridges. So what I'm hoping is that this will reduce the waste that I'm producing and therefore be better for the environment. What I've also found is, you know, being a careers advisor, I know that we shouldn't generalise, but a lot of my careers advisor friends love stationery and they have particular favourite pens. Now I'm no exception and I have a favourite type of pen and what I found is that this favourite type of pen that I use now comes as a reusable pen and basically this pen is a fine liner and it ties in with my art practice um, and all that sort of stuff that I do when I do sort of drawings. So I found a reusable pen and which is basically the same as the regular pen I use except again it's got a cartridge in so I can sort of take it apart like so and there's my cartridge that comes in and out. So a bit like the old cartridge pens that we used to use at school for the fountain pens. So basically, there's nothing new here. There's nothing groundbreaking here. It's just being a bit mindful about practice and how we can be a little bit more responsible in terms of the environmental impact we're having. So I thought I would just share that with you guys. So you've got that so you can consider your own practice and consider your own approach to what you sort of uh, wish to do in the common climate. Um, so I just thought I'd share because there's some useful top tips that might help you with what you're doing. Okay, so I wish you all the best and... Uh, Take care.